Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Hell yeah. Um, today we're gonna be discussing literally, um, you don't have to be number one and to stop chasing perfection. That's basically what today's episode is all about. Before um, I came out here today, I was actually um, just you know looking at some stuff or whatever. By the way, it's 10.30 in the morning and it's already like a billion degrees in heat. The heat and humidity together, worst thing ever. I hate it. I hate it so much. Again, that's why I don't live in South Florida anymore. Um, but yeah, it happens out here from time to time. Again, if it was hot and humid like it was in Miami here all the time, I wouldn't be here. Trust me. If I would, it would I would be complaining a lot more about the heat. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. So today we're just going to be talking about the fact that, you know, Stop, be, stop trying to worry about perfection. Stop trying to worry about being number one or chasing that number one spot because literally that's like a humongous uh, detriment to anyone out there just trying to do anything. You know, there's no reason at all to be trying to chase that number one spot unless you are already, you know, very near that number one spot. So unless you're like in the top five of whatever the fuck it is you're doing in the world, which again, I sincerely doubt that any one of you watching my channel right now are there because I'm, I sure as hell I'm not. I know, I know I'm pretty good at a bunch of shit, but I, I sure as hell I'm, I know I'm not no top five in anything. I'm a top five in, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm top one in? Being Jose Adiaga. That's for sure. There's nobody out there that's like me. And there's nobody out there that's like you. So instead of trying to focus on you know, trying to be number one, instead of trying to focus on uh, on perfection, you know, this thing that is uh, pretty much unattainable, and, and if you really want to look at it that way, um, per perfection is attainable, you know, um, that's another story for another day, but for the purposes of what we're talking about right now, the reality is that if you really want to look at it, you know, from, uh, from a real perspective, you know, perfection is pretty much unattainable. I mean, for the most part, because it just is. I mean, but that's not what this episode's about. Again, you know, we're just talking about the fact that, you know, chasing, all right, oh, oh, oh. all right, whoo, we made it. Look at that, just avoiding all that traffic so I can cross and get on the, on the shady side of things, right? But as I was saying, you know, there's no, I mean, that whole chasing that number one spot is is uh is literally wasting your time wasting your energy wasting every single you know resource that you could actually be using to actually you know get yourself to that point where you really want to be at the end of the day it's all about being the best person being the best human being the best you that you can be that's basically what you need to do you know once you become the once you're on the path of trying to become or are, are directly on the path of becoming the best person that you can be, then all of a sudden, then you can attain that number one spot. Because just like I was saying, there's no other you, there's no other me, there's no other, you know, any one of us. And so that's what we gotta look at these things. You know, the fact that we need to, you know, switch things around and stop chasing things or people because you're never gonna attain them or catch them. And again, what's the point of trying to chase anybody? You know, just, just be you. Just fucking be you. Oh, sorry. I, I get distracted very easily. Oh, look, there's a lot of uh, art stuff going on here today. Interesting. Yeah, again, this is uh, Friday, 10.30 in the morning. Walking around. Seems like things are popping already. Um, which is very, very interesting. It's very, very interesting. Um, because I usually don't come out this early and let alone on a fucking weekend. So, um, what was I saying? I literally almost got run over by some dumbass right now, like two seconds ago. I don't know if it caught it on camera or not, but again, stop chasing that number one spot. Stop chasing perfection. Just do, just do. Look, guys, a lot of, like, pretty much, like, one of my secrets, one of the secrets to, like, a lot of the things that I do, one of the secrets that a lot of people have out there which is not really that much of a secret but one of the you know major secrets to all this is just doing I mean again you know how many times do I got to repeat this in in different forms 
Um, I mean, literally, not, not every single one of my Monday motivations, you know, talks about this, but a good majority of my Monday motivations, you know, um, at the end of the at the end of the day, have some sort of a um, equal, uh, what is it like? There's one thing that that you know a lot of these have in common, which is you know just go out and do it, just do it. Stop worrying about you know when, when you're worrying about the number one spot, when you're worrying about you know uh, perfection, when you're worrying about these this, these uh, this, uh, these disabilitating uh, things. What ends up, what ends up literally happening is that like it just, it, it, it literally, it, um, all these things are just hurdles. Sorry, there's just so much fucking noise out here today. Woo, so loud. But anyways, at the end of the day, all these, all these things are, are just hurdles that you yourself are putting in right in front of you, and they, there's absolutely no reason for you to, to, to put these things in front of yourself. You know, you're literally hindering yourself by trying to chase perfection, by trying to chase. Um, you know, trying to be number one and all these things, and which again, guys, you know, trying to chase these things is is like a, it's it's a lost battle. You lose, you lo you already lost the battle before you even started. And I think uh, you know now in retrospect, as I'm talking about this and thinking about it, you know, I'm thinking I think a lot of people do this. They put these hurdles in front of themselves um, because they just don't have the self confidence to just put it out there or just do it or just uh, you know push forward. And so therefore they are you know you guys out there whoever is out there that, that has this problem you know th th you know th you're literally um subconsciously putting these things in front of yourself so that you know you have an excuse as to why you didn't do xyz and uh remember you know um, a lot of the things that i like to talk about as well is that pretty much you're at fault for everything no matter what the fuck it is it's your fault you know what i mean literally every single fucking thing in your life good bad ugly in between it's all your fault it really is it's, it's nobody else's fault but yours and um once you once you realize that once you really come to terms with that then you know again these are the things that help you chase certain things and um forget about this perfection and being number one and all this shit so for example I, I i'm definitely never chasing perfection i'm not sure i want certain things to come out awesome and perfect and great and and all this shit i have my own uh chasing of perfection but that's not like uh that's not like my main concern it's just not because if it was i, I if, if i was chasing perfection there's no way in hell that i would be able to make a video every single day there's no way in hell that i would have the balls or the courage to just you know um upload like the way i do because remember a lot of times you know you i mean come on think about it guys you guys are always complimenting me on the fact that oh i like how you just like film and talk and don't filter yourself and don't edit much and uh you say whatever's on your mind if you got to pick your nose you pick your nose if you got you know just things like that and it's like you know why because i'm not chasing perfection i'm not chasing the number one spot i'm not doing any of those fucking things i'm just being me i'm trying to make i'm trying to like make me the best me i can possibly be and by doing that and by doing that um what happens is is that all of a sudden all of a sudden like i i, I raised the bar on myself all of a sudden i'm just competing against myself all of a sudden every single time that every any one of you guys you know watches me or sees any one of my videos most of the time you're seeing constant improvement and so and so you know that's why i just continue doing uh you know just moving forward because again i'm not competing against anybody even though i might um you know have uh, i might talk about gary v or casey neistat or you know whoever whoever the hell i ever bring up you know these are people that i just um in a way you know look up to you know in a way um what's going on with this guy you know in a way you know these are just um you know other people that i admire and I, I, I don't, you know, I kind of emulate a little bit, but not really. I'm just still doing my own fucking thing. I'm always doing my own thing. That's the important, you know, aspect to, to you know, to all this stuff. Is the fact that you just, you gotta be you, man. You gotta, the only, the only perfection you should be chasing, the only number one spot you should be chasing is, again, you know, just competing against yourself. Now, let me, let me put out the number one spot uh, situation 
into a little bit more perspective. Fri man, Friday morning traffic, man. So much noise out here today. But, um, you know, it's so funny because like uh, as I walk, you know, like uh, um, I see a local, a local will smile at me. Whenever I see a tourist, they're always like pissed off and especially if they're with a partner. That's another story for another day. Let's not get into that. I actually made an episode about that a while ago talking about that stuff so um what was i saying okay so yeah that, that whole chasing that number one spot thing is literally um you know wasted energy wasted um everything because you, you know there's no again unless you're like in the like unless you're like lebron james unless you're you know tom brady unless you're you know again you know the best of the fucking best out there you know, there's no reason you should even be, you know, again, why is Tom Brady number one? He's not chasing nobody. You know, people are chasing him. But how did he get there? How did Tom Brady get to that point? How does anybody get to that point? Well, it's very simple, man. If you guys know just a little bit about Tom Brady, you know, I'll talk about Tom Brady because I think everybody knows who he is. He's a, he's a very famous quarterback that's been playing for a long time. Or even Michael Jordan. Why are these guys the best? Why are they always considered the best? Why can can nobody ever take them down from that throne? Well, it's because, you know, from day one, they were never chasing anybody. They were never competing against anybody, you know, except themselves. They were just chasing themselves. You know, literally how, how it all started with them, like it starts with like even me and others, is when someone told them, someone told Michael Jordan back in the day, hey, you'll never play basketball, you, you're too small. Someone told Tom Brady the same thing. Hey, you'll never be a fucking quarterback. You're just too small, too scrawny, too whatever. And the same thing with me. You know, people told me, it's like, oh, you're never going to be a success at, the, at these things that you're doing because, you know, the way that you are is so raw and so crude and so, um, you know, just the way that I am. And, and, um, and, and that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, um, I know, I mean, I know that now. I, I know that, you know, after just putting in that practice and that work, it, it's just like with the, with Tom Brady or Michael Jordan, you know, he could, you know, he, even though everyone was saying, no, you can't do this, no, you'll never succeed, no, you're whatever, you know, um, when he would shoot the baskets or do his thing or Tom Brady would fucking throw an 80 yard pass, you know, and hit it on the button, you know, that to them is what showed them whether they were going to make it or not. And then putting it into practice, you know, putting all that, that work, all that, everything into, into practice, into work, into, you know, for reals. And so that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like when you're just worried about yourself, when you're just worried about um, you being your best number one self, when you're just competing against you, when you're not chasing perfection, you're just chasing your dream, then all of a sudden it's like, you know, it's it just, again, these are the things that just make all these things easier because when I'm when I make a lot of these Monday motivations, you know, now now as I'm thinking about it, as I'm talking, as I'm walking or whatever, it's it's really you know all I'm trying to do is just push down these hurdles that we as individuals put on ourselves all the time, and that's the thing, you know, what I mean, all, all these hurdles are, are are put there by ourselves by us. We're the ones that put these hurdles on ourselves. We're the ones that are constantly you know, making it more difficult for, for ourselves. And, you know, there's a reason for that. You know, the reason that we do that is because, you know, the, just that self-confidence that a lot of people are lacking out there. So, you know, they say to themselves, well, the reason I can't do X, Y, Z is because, again, X, Y, Z. And it's like, <laughs> when you knock out a lot of these things, the more of these things that you knock out of your way, the more of these hurdles you literally put out of your way, the more you realize that, you know, you, anything, anything you, you want can be attained. Anything you, you, you literally desire, you know, could be acquired. It, it's all about just putting in that work and stop, you know, chasing these, these things that literally only exist in your mind. You know, because again, if I was worried about perfection so much, I probably would only have like a few videos, if that. But since I don't worry about that, then that's why I'm able to do what I do. And the same thing goes for you guys. No matter what you do, a lot of times, you know, you don't even want to, you know, you might play a song in, uh, let's say you're a songwriter or whatever. You might play that song in, in the privacy of your own, uh, 
um, home or your the safety of your own home or whatever. But you know, you you'll never release it on Instagram. You'll never put it out there on. Um, on, on Facebook, you'll never put it out there on YouTube because you're afraid of what other people will think. But if you really love what you do so fucking much that nothing or anyone can deter you from it, well then guess what? You know, you, you cannot wait to put it on, on, on social media so that people will actually judge you and help you, you know, do a better job and help you do a better job at what you want to do. Yeah, traffic is a little crazy out here today because again, I think it's Friday and fr it's Friday morning, literally. So, um, yeah, sorry about the wind too. It's a little windy, but hey, I need it. It's hot. So windy, I'm, my fucking towel keeps flying away. But anyways, but as I was saying, which I forgot what I was saying already. <laughs> but um, let's see, let's see. To come full circle to what I was saying because I'm almost at my destination. You know, literally just to come full circle to exactly what I was just saying. It's, um, you gotta, you gotta like literally, um, you know, like I've said before, you know, just drop a lot of these, uh, hurdles that you're putting in front of yourself. There's absolutely no reason, you know, for you not to be doing the things that you want to do. Um, oh yeah, the thing about the social media. So yeah, like if you really, really, really love what you do, if you're really like involved and, uh, you really just, again, you don't care. You're not chasing perfection. You're not chasing that that number one spot. You're just trying to do what you're trying to do. Hold on, one over here, one over here. Um, once, once you change your mindset and, and all, all the way around, then guess what? You know, that's, that's when the magic happens because you're not afraid of posting that on YouTube or on social media anymore. You're not scared as, as to what others think because the way you see it is that, you know, you, you'll put it out there and then, all right, I think we're here. Let me cross the street because I'm going to finish this video. But anyways, yeah, so you put it out there on social media. Man, the fucking music over there. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm telling you, man, they're making these videos isn't as easy as you think. But since I'm not chasing perfection and I just want to do these videos, it doesn't really fucking matter to me how I just do them. I, I'm doing them because you guys, and then at the end of the day, you guys want to, anyways. But as I was saying, you know, the person that is uh, really doing it the right way and isn't worried about, you know, the perception of others, you know, and not chasing perfection, is not chasing that number one spot, is not doing any of these uh, these things that are just self-sabotaging, um, then what happens is, is like, again, they release it to YouTube, they release it to Instagram, they release it up to wherever the fuck they're going to put it out there. And then, um, you know, when people give them feedback, if they give them negative feedback, you know, they either take it as constructive criticism or they tell them to go fuck themselves. Or when they get um, really good feedback, then it just helps them, you know, you know, make another one, do more, and continuously, you know, just, you know, continue making. And it doesn't deter them, deter them at all. It does the complete opposite. And what it does is that it actually, like, encourages them to continue, you know, doing, to continue creating, to continue everything. And so again, when these, you know, when you're not chasing perfection, when you're not chasing other people's opinion, when you're not chasing that number one spot, when you're not doing any of these stupid things, and all you're doing is just chasing your dream, chasing your your life, you know, doing what you want to do, um, then then that's when things really change. You know, that's when things you know start really um, moving around. Like for example, right now, I have uh, all the people to my left. It might be your right. Um, are all looking at me from the store. There's like a huge crowd of like five, six people looking at me. There's people right behind this camera looking at me. Like I literally got like 15 people looking at me as I'm doing this right now. And uh, you know, the more, like I, back to another video, like I used to say, you know, um, the, the one with all the things, you know, where uh, you don't care about what other people say. See, that's the thing, you know what I mean? Since the minute that I start acknowledging all these individuals looking at me, that's, that's the minute, <laughs> you know, that's the minute that, you know, um, you know, the whole um, cover starts falling off and it just makes it more and more difficult. But again, guys, you know, right now I'm looking at this moment as practice. You know, I'm just practicing, you know, talking in front of other people. You see, everybody already left. Everybody um, is, again, busy in their own world, in their own mind, chasing their own dream. And that's another thing, too. You know, when you realize that, you know, when you realize the fact that nobody really gives a fuck, you know, they just don't. Everybody has... Every man, everybody is chasing their own thing. Everybody has their own life. Everybody's just busy, and um, and that's the thing. You know what I mean? So when you're putting when 
you're doing, when you are literally putting yourself, um, when you're chasing the number one spot, when you're um, l literally, um, you know, chasing perfection, when you're doing all these things, all you're doing, all you're doing is just literally putting hurdles in front of yourself and creating excuses so that you don't do anything. All right. So, all right, guys. Look, it's getting loud. It's, it's it's even it's getting really loud, even louder than normal. I'm already here where I gotta be. I got an appointment I gotta get to. I have a full day ahead of me and um, I gotta get going. So guys, I just wanna say thank you for joining me as always. Don't forget to you know stay awesome. Thank you to all my patrons, thank you to all my contributors, you know, thank you to every single one of you guys out there that you know sends me everything from Lambo food to um, to Bitcoin to cash to to um, to you know hitting those likes, watching the commercials, buying t-shirts, every single fucking thing you do. Is, is beyond greatly appreciated and helpful and humbling humbling as fuck I mean honestly every time I get a new t-shirt purchase or someone sends me a couple bucks or someone just uh, leaves me an amazing comment like you know or, or even writes me an email it's beyond beyond crazy humbling and um, it's again the fuel that I need in order to continue doing what I want to do which is this all right so guys thank you so much for fucking joining me today thank you so much for being here um, I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. And have an amazing rest of your Monday. Have an amazing week. And uh, peace out, man. I got to get out of here, all right? I can't even hear myself think. I know. I know. Laters. Are you scared to do it because your parents won't like it? Um, no, my parents actually support me. Okay, so what are you scared of? Failing? Um, not failing, but um, still being at the same place when my friends are at the next level. Huge mistake. You don't want the same thing your friends want. No. So why the fuck do you care what they have? The biggest reason people are unhappy right now is because they value somebody else's opinion more than they value their own. Have the conversation with the person that's holding you back. The reason most people who are listening right now are not doing that thing is they're worried about the opinion of somebody on somebody. I am so devastated that you actually let your grandma's point of view, your mom, your dad, your sister, your aunt, you still let somebody else dictate based on their opinion every action you do and it's your life. The reason I'm super happy is nobody can tell me nothing. My wife, mom, and daughter can walk into my room right now, tell me I'm a piece of crap and I would be 100% unfazed. That is some gangster emotional structure. If you're not feeling it, find new friends. I'm being dead serious about this. This one is real big for me. The only way I've seen, now that I'm older, that you can build confidence is if you surround yourself with people that are optimistic. Start trimming your friend group and start adding to your friend group predicated on what you wanna be. Like it's unbelievable what happened to me when I got into the Silicon Valley world and started meeting like Mark Zuckerberg and like Ev Williams and Sock and like Travis, like it changed my life. Everybody in this room needs to cut out as much of the noise and time with people that are negative and spend as much time with people that are positive. The people you spend time with are the ones that dictate your mindset. Yeah. You can limit your time with your mom. You can limit your time with your best friend. You could tell your girlfriend or husband to go fuck themselves. Yeah. You fucking roll up on your dad, your mom, your sister and say fuck you, I'm out. Because you're fucking toxic and I'll see you in six years if you figure out why the fuck I left. You're accepting to be in that relationship. If you feel motivated by this conversation or you're intrigued by it, add one new winner friend. Like, you know what I mean? Add one new winner friend and cut one loser friend. I feel like even when I give it away and I don't speak to them, the chatter of them talk like that means you that, like that, that, that means you value their opinion. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, please let this be the video that drills through your head that your life is predicated on when you get real quiet and you can't hear another fucking person's two cents that has nothing to do with you and everything to do with where they are in life. Are you really gonna let those eight or nine people dictate your life? Because you are so fearful of judgment from others that at the end of the day, when you're 87, you will not give a fuck about. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. 
So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago, and um, I'm gonna be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special request on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.